example, today we are going to see about uh, uh, analysis, analysis of uh, plate with a hole at its center. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and uh, if you want to have a notification on my new video, kindly click on the bell button. Uh, let's go to the video, uh, sorry, let's go to the tutorial on a plate with a hole at center. Uh, we are going to analyze that today. I have designed that uh, plate, I have designed a plate uh, with a hole at its center using SolidWorks software. I am going to import that uh, file into ANSYS Workbench. Uh, I have selected a double click on, on the, I have made a double click on the static structural um, and I am going to uh, give the uh, material property as a default value that is default uh, material property is the structural steel that is being already selected in engineering data. Structural steel I have selected and I am going to import that uh, property. I am going to import the geometry file um, into the ANSYS workbench. I am going to import it. I have saved that uh, file, SOLIDWORKS file in the desktop so I am just importing into that uh, file. I am going to open the ANSYS mechanical workbench where I am going to do the pre-processing condition, boundary conditions and all those things I am going to give. Okay. Uh, after giving the boundary conditions, we are going to analyze the uh, load acting on the plate. I am going to uh, fix the load on the hole and I am going to fix the one end of the plate. Both the conditions we are going to see. Um, the ANSYS workbench is opened now. You can see the ANSYS workbench is being opened. Uh, the file will be uh, getting attached, uh, the file is being imported to ANSYS workbench. You can see the process over here. In that process, uh, uh, the file will be imported. Uh, we will wait until the geometry till import, imported into ANSYS mechanical. You can see the file is being imported. This is the file the, which I have designed using SOLIDWORKS that I have imported in the ANSYS uh, mechanical workbench. I am going to give uh, the mesh conditions. Simply I am going to generate the mesh without uh, adjusting any sizes and uh, the solution of it. I am giving the mesh and the mesh is being updated. You can see the mesh is updated. You can see the mesh is generated. Now I am going to give the Reprocessing conditions like uh, boundary conditions I'm going to give uh, force and fixed point I'm going to give again I'm going to select another fixed support because I'm going to fix uh, uh, the interior part I'm going to fix the interior part and I'm going to give the load um, load I'm going to give over here I'm going to give the load on which direction I am going to give the load, I am going to give in the x direction. So that uh, I am just giving find the Newton load in x direction. You can see the find the Newton is load is being applied. Geometry selection I have to give and apply. Okay, so that you can see. Uh, I am applying find the Newton over this area and I fixed the Central hole. I'm going to calculate the deformation and uh, strain, one versus strain, and the in stress, one versus stress. Um, and I am going to solve it. Uh, it will take some um, just a moment. I'll just delete this. There will be error. I'm going to solve this now. So it will not say any error. This condition where I am fixing the hole and giving load at one end, right side. Um, you can see the load will be uh, deformation sustained loads will be happening in what area you can see of the post processing the processing of these results you can see until we can wait um, for the 
the cells. Yeah, uh, the post processing and processing has been over. Now you can see the deformation in the plate. This is not a scale. I am going to give a true scale so that the deformation will be in true scale. And uh, you can see undeformed wireframe. Undeformed wireframe and uh, deformed edges. Um, showing elements will show you the clear criteria. Uh, and I am going to increase the load to 1000 Newton so that the deformation may be clear to you. You can see the deformation in a clear way. Um, you can see the total deformation now. In true scale, the deformation is like that, and we are, we are going to increase the scale. The deformation is like this. Uh, you can see the deformation for 1000 Newton load, uh, the deformation is totally negligible because the sexual steel um, does not uh, deform for 1000 Newton load. This plate will stand and you can see 3.3 3 e power minus 7. So, this total deformation is totally negligible and you can see the uh, elastic strain and stresses uh, over this. Uh, load of 1000 Newton, uh, we have elastic strain, 1 versus strain of 2.96 e power minus 6, and uh, 1 versus stress of uh, 5.88 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. We have uh, that is in Pascal. This is the stress analysis of plate at the central hole, and uh, I am going to delete this. Uh, fixed point and I am going to make the fixed point at the one end. Okay, at the left end I am going to make the fixed point. I am going to select this fixed point and I am going to give a play. And uh, the load force conditions remaining the same. I am going to solve the problem with fixing at the left side of the file. Uh, so that the, the load deformation the equivalences will be appearing from the displays itself because I have selected this uh, pole as a fixed point and I am selecting the left side as a fixed point. Now you can see the deformation is slightly increased and the stresses also have been increased because the deformation is acting on the whole plate. Okay, uh, thanks for watching my video. If you like uh, my video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment. Uh, anything if you need it, I will post a video. Uh, thanks for watching my tutorial.